think we're good. Okay, so I think they're getting, they're starting. I sent, uh, I sent Qu Quinn a message. So hopefully they will start soon. Great. Yeah, they're um, shuffling. I think they're, I think they're in the, in the zone here. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, man. So I'm really excited about this. I think uh, I, did you, you played in this as well, right? I, I did. Yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, I loved brewing for it. Uh, it was, it was super fun. I'm uh, yeah, I'm loving this format. This format's amazing. Are we are we live now? Is our audio live on the stream? Yeah, audio should be live. Uh, Perfect. Me, can we change the life total actually? Just oh yeah, Quinn. <laughs> Quinn's sitting at a at, at fourteen. 14. That is not correct. The fix the fix is in. <laughs> uh, player two life total. All right. Yeah, no, I I this is a this is a cool little format. Um, I like it quite a bit. I think it really, what I liked about it the most was it, it, the the decks come closer to kind of what it felt like to play back in the day, um, like 1995 Recess Magic. Um, of course, we know a lot more about curves and yeah. uh, you know, good deck construction now, but yeah, just getting like... some of the overpowered junk out of the way that we didn't have access to. Um, this is like you know, the refined it, version of that, right? Yeah, exactly. And when we hit a lull, maybe we can look at the restricted list and talk through some of the cards. But for now, we're off to the races, and so far we have... Uh, a, lot, a lot of land go right now. A lot of land go, yeah. Just like the old days, exactly. Yeah. So, um, I guess, and I got, I had the honor of playing uh, Quinn last last round. So, I know his deck is kind of slow uh, to, uh, to you know, get itself going. So. All right, we've got our first action here. Pez... On the draw, drops his fourth land, casts an Ernie, and Quinn power sinks for one. Um, pretty not, pretty easy did, answer did to like a, a four drop. Okay. And, and, and Moat's on the board. <sighs> yeah. That's going to be tough. Now, Moat is something that I didn't see too much on the on the playground uh, at recess, so I will say that. Uh, thank God. Oh, yeah, that's a quick answer. So, okay. <laughs> so this is it. It's an interesting matchup. I mean, Pez's, Pez's deck I would describe as firmly in mid-range, um, and Quinn's is really hard control, pretty much as hard as it gets in this format. Yeah. Um, they're, the, you know, Quinn's list and Sean Sullivan's list uh, were identical, I think, for this event. They were, they were both, they kind of converged on a, a five-color control plan um, that uh, used, you know, all the good white removal and moat, uh, a bunch of well, counter magic. Um, a full complement of regrowths, um, the best red removal tomes, and uh, and mirror universe basically. Yeah, I think um, we're gonna. I think we're gonna see a lot of like, is this okay kind of thing going on from Pez. And, for uh, sure, and and the question here is like, are Pez's threats like how are they gonna line up against all of Quinn's answers? Mm -hmm. um, is Pez gonna see you know sufficient density of of, of questions um, in order to get himself over the hump? So far, everything is just being like one for one, one for one, one for one. Um, Which I think ultimately might be in uh, Quinn's favor. I mean, uh, Pez's sure. favor, right? I mean, as long as there's no card advantage. I don't know. It's tough to say. Yeah, I mean, in the, in the early offing, that's fine. Like, if, if he can keep exhausting these one for one answers before Quinn can get his card advantage, card advantage engine online, you're, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, I think oh, oh, we got, right, there right it there. Is. <laughs> yeah. There it is. There's the tone. We'll see. Uh, okay. Pez isn't done playing out playing out threats. Yeah, he's still got a lot of gas. He, he got the Sphinx countered, but now he's he's got an angel on the stack. It looks like Quinn's thinking about it. No, I. Th oh, actually, yeah. That's, no, actually, I think it was. Me draws a counter no i actually resolved okay so it, it's definitely in play yep so we may have to let me see for the first damage oh spirit link okay spirit link yeah i mean there's nothing there's nothing better to do with the spirit link against quinn um uh, right like it's not like uh, quinn doesn't have any targets for it so pez might as well just put it on like getting two for one here doesn't doesn't matter because the spirit link was dead in hand anyway all right so i think uh he went, uh, I think we're, he's at 24 now. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm correct, I 
didn't see any. Oh yeah, we don't have. Neither of the players have a an little, easy way of displaying their life totals, do they? Yeah, so I have to just kind of try to hopefully keep up. Yeah. But he's a desert, which is desert which is very popular really among the control players. Angry. Yeah, desert was all over the place in this event, right? De yeah, desert was very, very played. Well, and I think is a function of um, of having all the duels uh, and also no like normal suspects like strip mine and factory and library were, are all banned in this format. Um, right. So you do have some extra um, slots to play with in your mana base, and you know for a controlling list uh, or even even like a mid range list that can afford it. Desert is a an attractive option for sure. Also, no city in a bottle running around to just randomly uh, kill your dresses. So definitely, I feel like the fact that the city of bottle just opened up so much stuff. You're not afraid to use any of those uh, Arabian Nights cards, like yeah, stuff like I did like see a lot of flying men, or, and uh, which was used before, but your random your random Dandans, yeah. which are like pretty attractive aggro creature to be honest. If, like if they didn't have that damn Centaur on it, stuff like that can see play. All right, so he's regrowthing right. counter magic. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of those regrowths. <laughs> so he, he did not. I didn't. I don't see how he's gonna answer the two threats on the board yet, unless I missed something. That's another four. So I think Pez is at. No, I mean, has Quinn has Quinn, Quinn has played eight. a source of flash shows yet in this game? I don't I, think. He I has. don't think so. No. Yeah. Um. I mean, if he's drawing to a turn, he'll certainly see one before too long. But I mean, regrowth is just. Just insane. I, I discovered this playing against Pez and actually losing to Pez in the first round of the top 16. Um, you know, regrowth with especially Swords to Plowshares, um, it, it is it is virtually like Swords 5 through 8. Um, and for Quinn, you know, once you get to the mid game even, regrowth basically becomes a demonic tutor. Yeah, um, he's got every, all you know, the answers in his graveyard. All of his answers are already in the graveyard, exactly. I and mean, you can just kind of pick the one that's most relevant. Now, here we have a kind of a funky situation because. By now, you'd, you'd expect Quinn to have seen a Swords um, at least once, but um, you know they're they're still they're still in there for sure. Um, and what else does ha does Quinn have to answer Sarah Angel? He has a Fireball, um, and he has is it, the Wraths are not main deck, right? Yeah, he's got no. Let's see. Board. So he's got four Swords and he has a Fireball. Um, so he's basically trying to dig for one of those five answers. I think he's at... But it is pretty... Yeah, it's pretty abnormal to not have seen a swords by this point. How do I get rid of this thing? It's like annoying. See who... All right, so that I, that's game. Yeah, he just couldn't find a source yeah. of shares. Sheepers. Well, should we uh, should we spend some time looking at the lists? Yeah, sure. Uh, I have I have a Quinn's list right now. You get this? How do you get this uh, pop up off? Have you ever uh, requested to join? But I don't know how to. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, and that's good. Okay. So I got Quinn's list up here now. We kind of briefly talked about it. Um, and what do you think? I guess we can talk about sideboards too. Like at this point, what yeah, is he exactly. doing? So, okay, so, so like I said, Quinn, it's like a five-color, co five very hard control list, you know, basically approaching, like, the way to build the deck, you know, in, in right. 5.1.5. Um, I think, um, um, I mean, this was an ab really an abnormal game in that... He didn't have any answers. Would, yeah, you would have expected some, some, way, some more interaction from, you know, with, with things that are already on the board. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think the Wrath of God definitely comes in. That was what, sort of what was lacking. Um, I don't see any artifacts. I don't think he needs these. The definitely doesn't need the divine uh, the divine offering. Uh, no. Disenchanted. What are the two? Still okay, got another, is that another scepter? I'm trying. It's kind of it's kind of hard to read his sideboard. The oh, he's got he's got a Tormod's crypt. Fel, we don't need that. A Felden's, a Felden's cane, cane. A scepter. We don't need that. Two, Chapter, disen I don't think two disenchants, which I did. The disenchants are pretty Sylvan, yeah, from, I mean, from Sylvans and I don't know. Sparelings. Yeah. Uh, I really don't think... I mean, there's actually... Yeah. Rebs and Bebs are 
you know, also don't do anything. I really like, um, I mean, Siobhan is something. It's another. Yeah, it's something, right? It blocks everything, it's everything, right? If you can, if you can pull out, like, like the, the he's got three pawn stars main deck. I don't think that does a whole lot. I mean, you can. No, you his, can kill a, his, his creatures have just so big butts, you know. Yeah, I think he's just, I think he's boarding out a couple things and bringing him to wrap and the Shaven Dragon, and there's not as much to really do here. Right, maybe, gonna, gonna... maybe the Disenchant's even come in just for, you know, because you can you can at least keep a Sylvan from doing its thing. I don't know. I'm gonna Should put pull, a uh, yeah. I'm gonna put a Pez's deck now here, and then and both of these guys they know each other's deck. I mean, I'm I'm I will be very surprised if they didn't look at this deck and kind of like at least go through the motions of what they're gonna bring in. It's, yeah. Oh, well, for sure. Um, no, I I think they've had a lot of time to talk to think about it, and I mean, just run it. Pez at least. Pez has already had the matchup, right? I think he he beat Sean also in the top sixteen. All right, so he's got it under his belt. So um, I'm, I'm assuming and that you know, on paper, I, I still think that the hard control list wins this matchup more often than not, right? Um, because you know of the efficacy of these early counter spells against the threats, which are really all like four and five drop creatures, right? Um, right. But I, I mean, I think Pez's board plan is more exciting. Um, you know, we know he knows that um, that. Quinn doesn't have any creatures. Um, I mean, other than the Shaven Dragon, I don't think you're afraid of a one Shaven Dragon, really. Yeah, I you don't know, think you can, you can keep. I don't think that's great. He's got so many. Like, I mean, a could, swords or two, or a swords and a mirror link or something. I don't know. Cut the preachers. Uh, you really maybe. don't have to worry too much about it. Because um, if I'm Pez, I'm excited to bring in Armageddon. I'm excited to bring in the Divine Offerings and oh, the Fourth Disenchant. Absolutely, yeah. So that's one, two, and another Disenchant. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. Yeah. Probably take out the preachers and maybe yeah. the swords. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, you don't need the preachers for sure, and you don't need. You certainly don't need six. Uh, six know, yeah, creatures. Like yes, yeah, the spirit links and the uh, the swords, right? I mean, one another card that's kind of interesting here is Tormod's Crypt. Um, you know, we saw uh, in that last game, like once. Uh, Pez was able to stick a Sarah Angel. If Quinn is fumbling around to try and find his his one one, um, you know his swords, um, you can kind of blank removal like that with a Torment script. Because um, I think of a you know target it, you can right. you can hide your own creature, right, right, um, and and sort of protect them from from stuff like that. It works against Wrath of God too. Yeah. Um, so that's I mean that's like a, it's not amazing. Obviously, it's not a slam dunk. Um, and if you know, we know that Quinn is probably going to leave in disenchant because he doesn't have a lot to bring out. Right. Um, but uh, or sorry, he doesn't have he doesn't have a lot of things to board in. Um, so, but even so, I think that twelve mouse crypt is kind of a sneaky um, a sneaky option here. Maybe going a little too deep, but it, but it is a cute thing if, if we end up, end up in a situation like that, the previous. Yeah, game. you te you tend to get a, if you the more time you have to like actually think things through and uh, think th things through and plan, you start to get more and more sneaky. So I wouldn't be surprised if he actually kind of thought that. He's had like a week to think about this. So you're like trying to mm -hmm. convince yourself that it might be a good move. Um, um, okay, so, so we have, uh, yeah, Quinn actually mulligan yeah. once, so. Okay. But um, Pez doesn't have any wait. mana sources yet, so I don't know. Pez, has Pez missed a couple land drops? No, I think uh, uh, Quinn went first. No, he sees, he put he went played Pendlehaven, Elf, and then Forest Elf. So, okay. we're in so his he, main may, phase now. he may not have a third land if we're here. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Is that an attack? Uh, yeah, that's an attack. So we can go down to 19. One, and then we'll cast. So it does not have two blue. You might want to. Oh, what okay. is on? He's going to use on his. Wild? Oh, he's, he's going to force the kind of an activation. Yeah. And he or does, as Pez he really wants not. to cast something for three or four. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Quinn basically called the called him there. Like he said, well, if you want to, if you do want to um, play that fourth source and play a four drop, you're losing your guy unless you want to activate the Pebble Haven and uh, waste it and spend your turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Nice. There's still no blue. No two blue. I'd be surprised if he doesn't have a swords in his hand. I, I'm just waiting for him to swing lethal with the Petra Sphinx. That's that's what I'm all about right now. 
You and not, me both. Not, that, I, not that I'm biased, but... I know. I, I don't... I'm going to go out on the limb and say we're not going to see a Petra Swift resolve in this game. <laughs> Probably not. All right, taking the aggressive uh, All right. stance. So we know, he's, we know he's willing to use the Pendle Haven at this point. Okay, there's the swords. He's going to swords the urn him. Let's see what he does. He might... Uh, there's him a tank. And I feel like the best way to attack Quinn's deck is just to, I mean, you got to make him have it. You got, like, you have, if you has getting, I mean, oh, I feel like yeah. the longer you wait. No, you just kind of have to keep pushing questions through. Yeah. Um, there's okay. no, uh, so, two. No beating around it. So she's gonna, take... gonna gain it four, and Quinn's gonna take two. Okay. So Did not drop a land that turn, so. Right. Let's see if he. Okay, well, there, there it is. Crypt. So there will be some regrowth. regrowth oh, yeah, I be... see. So I, I overlooked that use of crypt when I was yeah. looking at the sideboard. Like, oh, why is the crypt there? It's because regrowth, regrowth is it, freaking everywhere in this It's like amazing. Yeah, that, it makes a lot of sense. All right. Forcing the power sink? Nope, no power sink. Sarah hits the nope. board. So he's got to have another swords. Regrowth. Yeah. Or, or, or a regrowth. Or a regrowth. Yeah. A regrowth, which is basically a two mana wild card. <laughs> it can it's, be like anything. It's so, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, what you want. Let's sort another sword. So 20, he's at 28. There's no way that this card is not going to get it banned. Next iteration of this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it was fun to let it run wild for one tournament. Um, you know, in a, you know, with reasonable rationale, right? Like in 93, 94, it's obviously restricted because of, you know, we have ancestral recall and, uh, and other, like, haymaking, like, insane, like, the, some of the most busted cards that are printed. Yeah. Here, it's not as abusive, but, like, you still have very, very efficient answers, like Swords to Plowshares. Um, and, I, I think it it makes sense to curtail that. Plus, regrowth is just so splashable, right? Um, in Quinn's deck, it's the only green card, um, and it's just not a it's just not a problem with all the duels and no blood moon to just you know fill your deck up with stuff like Savannah. Right, right. Um, all right, so there it is. That's his one, that's his tome. So that's his fizzles. that's his one crypt activation for the yeah. For the game, and I don't think actually Pez is running. Yeah, he's only running three regrowths. I guess it's, it's, his deck's kind of tight, so <laughs> not that much room. I feel like when Pez, uh, Pez and I played, he saw every single regrowth against me. Yeah, I know. It, it sure felt like he had. Four. Did you just regrowth a regrowth? I don't. <laughs> it's like yeah, right, right. right. All right, so this post get in, this is like game two point five now. Post get in. Um, you know, Pez is already up to three mana. Uh, uh, Quinn can regrow another land here if he wants it, you know? I, I, I mean, if I'm Pez, I'm not it, terribly upset with that. I mean... Right. Take one, two. He's going to take, take two. two. All right. I, I didn't see what Quinn grabbed, but it was the, I think it was the desert. Yeah, okay. It was the desert. Which makes sense if you're getting beaten down by Law Worlds, because that just stops the entire attack. Yeah. You think Desert Nomads will be, uh, <laughs> be a thing? Probably not. Is it, does I it hope so. I mean, I'm sure the committee will just ban everything until Desert Nomads are playable. That's, yeah. that's really the end game. That, that's the goal. There. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. Um, can't see how but many... I think, I mean, the fun is, like, the fun is, seriously, though, it is, it is getting the, the ban list to a place where you are seeing more fringe cards, you know, this we have Petra Sphinx in the in the finals. You know this. I mean, uh, I, I would definitely call that a success. That's, that's cool. We have we have desert in the finals of this tournament. Um, but, you know, cool things are happening, and it's a I don't know. It's it's an exciting project. Um, okay. It's just another. You know, there are so many great ways to play with the ninety three ninety four card pool, especially nowadays. Um, and I think the community, you know, really 
responded to this. Like this this tournament, uh, was it like was it thirty two players or so? No, I think it was uh, like fifty. I, I, or fifty. Something. I think it was like a who's who of, of American old school. To be honest, like a, a, the the roster was really really strong. Yeah. Um, all of my matches were you know tremendous. I had a great time. Yeah. Um, just the just the caliber, and, and not like not only like the, the quality of the players, but also just like the level of like enfranchisement. Uh, of the players like everyone who's in this tournament is like so bought in to old school and like to the you know the culture and the spirit of the, the format right right um, I totally and i think agree. this like the, this type 1.5 1, 1. um format kind of resonates with with that crowd yeah there's a divine offering on the tone yeah just playing have the counter spell uh, that tome is and, very valuable and palace think won't do it uh, uh, what can he? Has, he uh, hasn't played a land yet, so he could play an Arnhem if he. Maybe he. No, he gave it up. All right, so he's gonna gain four. All right. Yep, you were right. He hadn't played the land. There it is. Regrowth for. What do you got in there, Pez? I. I don't even know if I would. What do you grab? He doesn't have much because he crypted. So. Yeah, he, he has another he's got like an divine angel, offering. Another re another regrowth, which you're not regrowthing for. And you have the divine offering. Right? Was there anything else in there? Uh, I don't think so. I might have held on to that one. <sighs> Unless I he just added the um... divine offering quick. I didn't see it. Oh wait, he had to... oh he he had that de tap desert. Okay, I was like, why didn't he use it on the elf? Okay, that makes sense. Pez is de I don't think Pez has joined as many answers this I mean uh, as much heat this game so it's the longer it goes definitely Quinn has the upper hand oh there's another server I feel like he's cast like yeah, four sure. servers already alright All right. Okay. there's the six mana spell blast like like you do <laughs> that's that's always a little depressing to be on the opposite end of a hundred and ten percent that's depressing that's like, I mean oh. and since the get in Quinn has hit a bunch of lands yeah um, I mean the regrowth helped but as is typical Quinn is, with Quinn has found what he needed. You know, to be able to spell blast a freaking Sarah Angel post get in is, is pretty insane. Next time I gotta put a uh, what is it that um, the bar that they have uh, like who has the advan the advantage bar. Oh yeah. <laughs> have to right, work right. on that. So, yeah. Definitely it's towards Quinn right now, I think. I am assuming how he has well, a full... how many cards in hand does Pez have now? Has, I feel like he like, has three? two. It looks like two? two. Yeah. Yeah, two. Pez looks like, I mean, Quinn looks like he has a pretty, a pretty full grip right now, so. Mm -hmm. He is perfectly happy playing the waiting game. Oh, 100%. I, I don't know. I think the way Quinn has bounced back on land drops, there's another one, Jesus. Since, since the get-in was really pivotal here. Because what, like, what does Quinn do if he doesn't have six mana that hurt, you know? When the when the Sarah Angel comes, okay, I was wrong. All right. I stand corrected. Okay. Oh wait, Pet he says hold on. Well, it's got to resolve, right? So, we'll see. Uh... Let's see. Let's see what uh, if he lets this through. Oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. It's so... all right. It's stuck. I, you know, I'm happy to be wrong when it means the Petra Sphinx is on the board with those magnificent wings that do nothing. Now, actually, how good is regrowth with Petra Sphinx? in mid game even if you don't hit it if you have a regrowth in your hand there's some extra value there yeah that's pretty because cool because you can actually like if oh. i guess if you're desperate enough okay moat is Petra Sphinx stuck behind a moat this is, is a, a thing this is a flavor fail right here this is uh, like... yeah enormous enormous flavor fail. <laughs> oh my god Now, I don't think he's used any of the disenchants. He only divined offering the book, so he does have outs, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so now that's a Siobhan. Yep. Yeah, okay. there she is. Um, so. I mean, I don't think Quinn has a lot of. He's, had, he's seen so many lands. I just don't think that his... Um, uh, his disenchant? Oh, yeah. did he say disenchant? Oh, I hope he's... I mean, he probably called an answer if he doesn't have one. It looks like it's going to go to the graveyard. Yeah, what's happening here? 
Oh, he's on his phone. He's... <laughs> oh, wait, is he texting? Do you have he... Discord up or something? Or maybe he's texting. I don't know. Right, is he looking check. up the text to Petra Sphinx? <laughs> oh, maybe it's an Oracle text reading. Uh... A disenchant. What would he be doing? So now, I... what's Pez going to do about this dragon? Um, see, if he know, doesn't have an answer, I could see him naming uh, maybe Spirit Link off the top just to get it. Well, um, that's what I mean. How many Spirit Links and Swords are still left in his deck? We don't we don't know exactly how he's ordered. Yeah. We, we, we know he certainly came down from from six total. I would, yeah, I would say... I, I... No, he didn't, or, sorry, he didn't seven, say to seven total, right? He had, he had four Swords and, and three Spirit Links. Right. And three creatures. Another answer. What is so, that? That is a forest. So that's not it either. I think he might be... I'm just looking for answers, it sounds. The Petrus Fix is, is in de desperation mode right now, I think. Exactly. I also love the way Siobhan is like so good right, right now in this format, too. It's, it's very nostalgic. Oh yeah, no. You want exactly. You want to play a format where the dragon is just the you know the king of the roost. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, think, advantage bar towards yeah. Green. This is love. Yeah, well, good. I, we don't have the life totals in front of us, though. I, 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 I think he's at thirteen and thirty-two. I think Pez is pretty so high. I haven't seen any damage. Is Pez just guessing? He's like he's tapping the. I think he is. Like, I mean, he's just like naming random cards. I think he's just or, just naming swords or spirit link. Yeah, that's it. He, he can see yeah, that's it. it. Okay. I'm uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, I would uh, if I didn't have an answer for that, Siobhan, I would just be naming whatever I left in my deck. Probably spirit yeah, link. Yeah, totally. Um. Uh, but, All right. Well, should we? Uh, do you want to look at the um, the ban list and yeah, sure. just kind of it up. Bring, uh, bring the viewers up to speed on this uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. delicious little format that we've been uh, playing? Yeah, I'm 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 thrilled that this match is going to game three. I think it's uh, you know worthy of the finals. Um, yeah, I thought they were going to do five. That would have been. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. That actually. would have been pretty cool. Um, I mean, obviously, it's up to them, but. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with three. Also, <laughs> three's good too. <laughs> Um, uh, we're on the East Coast, so we're we're okay with three. Right on the East Coast, and I I don't know about you, but I've got a seven hour event to run tomorrow. Yeah, I, I will be at the event, and uh, excellent. I will be spiking hard for everybody listening. Out there. I think I think a fair number of people will be spiking hard tomorrow. I'm I'm kidding. Uh, I'm I'm not going to be spiking hard at all. But uh, good. It should be it should be a lot of fun. How many how many are you at right now? You're uh, like. like like a hundred, it might be. It was like a hundred two this morning. We've had a couple drops and a couple ads. I think we might, we might be down to like 90, 98, 99. That's something like that. Yeah, that's probably going to fluctuate in the next twelve. Call it about hundred, uh, which is which is exciting. I mean, it'll be the biggest same day webcam tournament that we've ever done. Yeah. Uh, like full stop. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's start. Right. Yeah, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this general list here. So for for those who don't know, type one point five. Um, this is a ban list that uh, has been incubating with the Beast of the Bay. Yep. Um, they had like a pilot um, uh, tournament earlier this year in Santa Cruz, the, the tsunami event. Right. Um, and then they tweaked it a little bit, um, and now we've had this we've had this tournament running for you know the last few weeks. Yeah. This um, is this is the second one, right? This is uh, number two, or this, have they had? I think it? this is the first webcam tournament. Um, but the second type 1.5 tournament. Right. Total. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, I mean, a lot of the usual suspects that you would want to see banned in a format like this are all the all the power, you know, library, soul ring, chaos orb. Um, but there are, you know, and, and some just perennial, like, lands that you see in everywhere in 93, 94, right? Strip mine, factory, maze, city of brass, all gone. Um, I don't know. What, are the, what do you think are the 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 most surprising cards on this list and, and the ones that could maybe come off the list i know that i know a lot of people well not a lot but it's definitely some people were looking at birds of paradise and uh mm -hmm. and like you know why birds why is this why is this on the, the list yeah um, that's, that's one. definitely one that raises eyebrows um, um i think control magic sometimes raises eyebrows if you're not familiar with the power of that card yeah i mean when when you think about it 
you know, when you think about it a little bit more, then you're like, okay, well, that makes a little sense. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, what else would surprise me? Um, everything looks okay. The land's definitely, um, Black Vice, eh. Black Vice, Abbey Tower, they kind of negate each other. I think it's a pretty good list. I wasn't really too surprised at anything on the list. Uh... I think, I mean, I think there are a couple things like, like Blood Moon being on the list is, is format defining, right? Because this could be just like a frat party of, of dual lands all the time. Like, you don't have to worry about it. Well, I, I mean, I like I like that. I mean, I think that not having to worry about it, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, just open it up because you can't. I know a lot of people like to play a lot of duels, but you can you can actually splash the cards that you're not um, that uh, without fear. You know, it it just yeah. it just leads to non games sometimes. It's kind of not fun. for sure. You can splash regrowth without fear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is... All right, so All here right. in game three. Um, Let's see, Pez got a Sylvan Library up on turn two, and now he has a Urnum Gym that it was not, resolved. Yeah, was resolved. Yeah. So uh, we got either and, Swords uh, and or... Quinn is on fourth land drop, go. Huh, does not seem concerned. Those hands are no, very yeah. calm right now. I'm taking it. But okay. Let's... The body language. I love this matchup. These guys are both such, like, cool customers. Yeah. Um, they, they don't. I, I, I don't know if you played against either of them. I, I played, I played against, against Quinn Pez a fair amount. Um, and I've seen. I, I haven't had the pleasure of playing Quinn yet, but I, I've seen him. I've seen the way he works. <laughs> um, yeah, generally they're, they're pretty just, calm. Yeah, they're just really, uh, really steady. They don't get too high. They don't get too low. Pretty even um, keel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but there, but even but I think you're right. There are some like really micro body language things. With both of them, where you can just see, you know. Okay, wrath. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Yeah. Now that's interesting. Do you think? I, I'm not sure if I would have. Well, do you think there was an overextension? Yeah, I, I'm just thinking about that now. He has two wraths. He doesn't have any wraths. No, I think, main I deck. think it's just one. Oh, out just of the board, one, right? Maybe. I mean, you're afraid of just one Wrath. Eh, that's not, I'm not going to fault him for it. I, I, no, I, I wouldn't either. I mean, because if he doesn't have the Wrath... Then it, it's game. I mean... It, yeah, it's it's game over in, like, three turns. Yeah. You may have convinced yourself if, like, he, you know, he didn't counter the Urnum and... But if he didn't counter the Urnum, if he didn't Swords the Urnum, that he was... Yeah, kind of... Like, what's he doing with, a, with all those oh, cards in hand? Now he has another Wrath in hand. Okay. Not killing it. Regrow... Yeah, he could he could regrow wrath here. He did, <laughs> yeah. So now one. he definitely he knows he has a wrath in hand. So now definitely he's not going to want to play into it. So just attacking with one creature for the rest of the game. So I'm down at twelve. And follow up with Geddon. Geddon. That Woo! cannot resolve. There's no way, no way it's gonna that resolves. Yeah. Okay, good. Otherwise, it's over. Okay. That was the bait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that was Pe and that was Pez shooting his shot, right? Like, yeah, either you have it or you don't. It's just like you were saying earlier. Like, you have to like if you've got the question, you should ask it because you, you have to. You know, make the, it longer, the longer this thing drags, here's the wrath, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually. When I was prepping for Quinn's ma my matchup against Quinn in the semis, I actually almost convinced myself that being on the draw was better, because early on, <laughs> early on in the game, and hear me, the, hear this, hear me out here. Early on in the game, the only things you're worried about are counterspell and power sync. So he only has really six counters, right? And if you're on the draw, I think you, I, I was kind of working at the math and like, it. I convinced myself that playing out stuff early and not being afraid is is the best move. Um, obviously, spell blast is much more powerful late game. But all right, let's see here. Uh, looks like a Sarah. No, Petrosynx leans back in the chair. You know, <laughs> <laughs> big body language reader here. Okay. Oh, so he plays two cards. Okay. Let's see if he has an answer. Enchant the Sylvan. Enchant for the Sylvan. 
Yeah, kills the Petra Sphinx combo. That's that's unfortunate. Well, that's sad. I I'm assuming he remembered the next two cards, so he still gets some value out of it. Oh, did he get to peek once? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. 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 I, he, I he, he, yeah saw... he, he had been he had been floating in a couple cards for sure. That's something you have. <laughs> Another regro oh, regrowth wrath. Oh. All right, so that's two well, regrowth. Yeah, so I mean, far. you only need one wrath in the board if you're going to cast it three times off a regrowth. <laughs> right. That's definitely yeah. something I learned quickly. Playing Petra Sphinx, Sylvan Library, you have to remember the cards, and I was always like, oh, what was that on top of my deck? I learned that you pretty know, quickly. I ran into the same thing. The first time I ever had the combo down, I was like, tap Petra Sphinx, draw a card, and my opponent's like, well, what was the card? Uh, I, like, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Counterspell. Okay, so we're into the one-for-one -one battle here. Um, and I, th I think they look like they have pretty much the same number of cards in hand. Tomes, there, there's been no Tome activations this game. There's been a lot oh. of regrowths. I've lost count. I think that's, that's the third. That's the third? Yeah. Jesus. Top, and you gotta do something about this, man. Um, and just, uh, we're in the draw-go mid-game here. <laughs> This uh, this doesn't if I'm Pez uh, this doesn't feel great right I'm not, now. Yeah, I'm not happy right now. Let's see what what would I be drawing to? Either some sort yeah. of threat. When you when you had the Sarah and you had Gadden on the stack, you felt like there was a you know, a glimmer there, but I'm just looking through his deck, um, for anything if I feel like he has a lot of one for ones, which is not great. Except for the Geddens, I guess. Yeah, if I'm Pez, I'm not. I'm not happy right now. All right, we got some movement. Up, oh, Siobhan. Nope, Mirror Universe. Okay. Okay. 20, sure. Twenty twelve. Okay, quickly disenchanted. Yeah. And he only has one more reroll, so. Well, and he had so he had counterspell to protect it if if he wanted. So that must mean he doesn't have. Counter in a sand, like a hard counter spell. Mm -hmm. What else here? So we need an answer. I don't think he swords too many. He actually used his wraths to get rid of creatures early. So he def okay, that doesn't surprise me. All right, so he's gonna gain four. So we have. 24. I hope our life totals are correct. Uh, I'm like uh, definitely very happy that you volunteered to help me out with this because if I oh. were to commentate by myself, I don't know how I would keep the total, oh, no, no. life so totals like, and everything. I'd be like, I'd be totally. Always better to tag team these things. Yeah. Here's another Petra Sphinx. Huh. Oh, if you get a second to check your Discord messages, uh, I sent you something you got to pull down. Okay. Hold on. It's a sword. He did swords that, right? So he's going to gain... Yeah, swords. Uh, yeah, it was a swords. It was, he gained three. Three, so 27. <clears throat> okay. Some draw go action here. Oh man. Yep. I I just don't see how this one ends this well is, for Pez at this point. Yeah, this is looking it's looking grim. Feels like Quinn's got a pretty fat stack. He's about to crypt uh Pez off all of his regrowths. This is that feeling that every magic player gets playing against the control yeah, deck. Yeah, that sinking uh, sensation like when you're playing against the deck. Glimmer of hope that you want to you know say that, is there. Yeah. And all of your in all of your threats, uh, either can't attack to a desert or cost four or five mana. But sometimes you never know. He's he's playing a lot of land, so that makes me that that tells me that he doesn't have Geddon or he's not has given up on the Geddon plan. At least I don't know. I think so. Or maybe he just has too many cards in his hand. And... Yeah, we don't see past his hand. Okay. 
I got your message. The all right. So whose turn is it? Are we in? Uh, okay, we're in. It's Pez's, Pez's turn. Let's see what he's going to uh, do. He's going to look. He's going to try and force the activation. Force the crypt activation. Boy. Well, that tells me he has a plan. I mean, right? <laughs> he's got. He's got to have a plan. It may, it may not be the best, but. Well, he, it tells me he's not worried about the fourth uh, rebirth for Miriam. Getting okay. There, there's the Geddon. This, there's. I mean, there's no way. There's no no right? way that this resolves. He's counting his cards. No, he's gonna counter. Yeah. Yeah. Double. If I'm pet, how many how many more lands do you even have in your deck to regrowth again? Just, yeah, regrowth. Let's see if that happens. Now that now that's an interesting sequence because. This is the same turn that you divine offering. I don't know, like. Right. He, he basically wanted to regrowth his. To cast again and again on the same turn, like. You see what I mean? If he, if he had divine offering, you like at the end of Quinn's turn, and then kept his ten mana. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, he could have double get. Like to to get and regrowth get him on the same turn. Yeah. Not a good sign. Okay. Getting well, I guess if you're tapping out, if you're tapping ten mana to get in twice, like the second get in can be power. Oh, okay. He had two regrowths, so now he can double okay. get. So Quinn just lets this one resolve because who cares? And now. All right, here we go. Power sink, counter spell, a deep breath over there. But power sync for yeah. no oh, yeah. counter. Just a straight up, straight up counter spell. Okay. Okay. I have not been. We do not have the counter spell counter. Although at this point, like, what is even? What does a post scattered world even look like for Pez? Uh, I, I, I wonder. I mean, because he had been dropping lands. It does. Maybe he was just trying to get to ten. It does like, look. For that, yeah. For, for that sequence, I wonder what else he has in his hand. It does look pretty grim, but I mean, it it, it can't look worse. This, I guess he's banking on the fact that uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus the three regrowths. I think it goes back to like, he just doesn't have any. I mean, it definitely right. hurts. Again, it hurts uh, Quinn more than, than Pez. I mean, he's. Uh, yeah, sure. But, no, for sure, for sure. But. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of a fireball, like real fireball <laughs> sequence here. Well, how is this game going to end? Uh, where's Steven Dragon? Is it, in the, is it it's still in the deck? Uh, she, it's still in the Mirror deck. Universe, yeah, he has not casted it yet. Mirror Universe is, is gone. And I he only he has, has one regrowth left. Uh, he has one re regrowth left. He's got Tome, so he can go find Fireball or Steven Dragon. I think that um, he, he has... Um, at this point, Quinn has all the time in the world. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing. I, I don't think. I don't think a single threat is going. Do you even need to chain? No, I can't. Do you, do you even need to chain that line of world at this point? Like just like go to the. <laughs> go to the <laughs> yeah, I mean, I He's wouldn't care. Back to the desert. Okay. Uh, he. I mean, he is at twelve, but that's plenty of life. There's no way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, now is. Now is the time to act. I hope he had something in the tank here because he really only has one counter spell possibility. He's looking at what is in his exile pile. So that is usually a telltale sign of somebody looking to draw a card. <laughs> it's still in his deck. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what happens. All right, audience, if you're if you're thinking about uh, checking out of this game, I, I urge you not to. Uh, Andy and I will make it worth your while at the end. I promise. There will be something you want to stick around for. Something you want to stick around for. Yes. You just have to watch Quinn win at the end. I don't. <laughs> you first. just have to. Yeah, basically, there's a price to pay. There's. Sylvan, okay. What? 
Okay. Yes, this is uh, this is uh, gonna be a one for one battle here. For, okay, so he's got some Jaden Bito activations now. This is all. There will be nobody conceding this match. <laughs> so this will be a long one. Dervish. Hmm. Okay. That's a little surprising. I didn't. I wonder if he just trimmed hey. all the, the creature hate. And just Dervish and uh, Dervish and one. Uh, yeah, he must have right. Just in, increases his number of threats. Yeah. Um, Dervish and a Pendlehaven activation one time gets you through desert. Uh, yeah. You're right. You're right. I just did not. I uh, yeah, desert is really annoying. The deck I ran didn't really have that much trouble with with, Ooh, with desert. But... Tap eight, tap eight, draw two. Oh my god, oh. this is this is painful. Oh god. All the control players. If there are any control players watching right now, they're loving it. Okay, now one Pendlehaven does not help Dervish get through desert because you can't get through two desert two, two, de ah, two deserts, and he, right? And he chained the okay. And he chained it anyway. Why? <laughs> Okay, he's really playing I, the long game now. Right? Like, and, I mean, I can't blame him. This is the finals. This is like, you know, don't want to mess up. Right. That's true. So conservative play is definitely going to benefit him. Just likes to see a clean board, I guess. Well, I don't know. I think the conservative play is to let the, you know, to leave the dervish there. You might find more use for that chain later on. I don't know. Yeah. But... But also, if you're if you're Quinn, you're drawing three a turn now. Like your individual cards don't really matter. Like he's got to stay below, you know, max hand size anyway. So burning the chain on the dervish is not the end of the world. At this point, if I'm Pez, I'm asking myself: Is decking you an option? Ah, uh, there's Thomas's coffin. Mm, okay. Not as not as exciting in the situation as the ones that we talked about during the. The board plan um, right. discussion. <laughs> Quinn's is going to draw a million freaking cards. <laughs> I'm looking at that deck size. That's what I'm looking at. Seriously. Does he have... Uh... Let's see what's happening here. What the disenchanted dance. I think he is on the no permanence plan. I'm not sure if uh, this has actually any cards in hand at this point. I'm not sure. Three deserts. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get to the... Does the desert hit flying creatures as well? I mean, does that... Sh yeah, right? It, it does. All yeah, right, it so does. It's gonna sh he's going to shut down Sarah. Oh, no, he's counting mana. Okay, this might be... Good. This, <laughs> this might be the end. Let's see. Oh, no, he discards uh, I think the this, tiger. I think this one was just... But now, yeah, well, he's going through the mental math now. Yeah. Disenchant. What are you disenchanting? A book. Why? Huh. If, if I'm if I'm Pez, I'm hoping Quinn draws four a turn until he decks himself and just makes a mistake somehow. Save it for Mirror Universe Regrowth, maybe? Save, save it for, yeah, save it for Regrowth Mirror, for sure. Make him, make him do all, whatever, 27 damage to you on one turn. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, I, I don't think the mirror is his plan right now. Uh, I think definitely by counting him out, he's probably going to do fireball. He's got one yeah, sure. one last regrowth, and Pez, if I'm not mistaken on my my life total here, is at 27. So yeah. looks like he has a Pez has no Pez has no way of stopping a fireball. He can he can do sorts the plowshare tricks if if he kept them in, maybe gain life fast. I don't know. How, that, that's pretty bad, but... Here's a funny question. How would this matchup have been different if Pez had, like, one or two CLP red in his 75? Oh. Can't fireball him. Can't shoot and drag him. You need to use your disenchants for CLP reds. Yes. Maybe it's not Maybe it's not too much because Quinn just... just he never uses a disenchant on the Sylvan Library or anything like that. Right, um, but that's kind of an interesting. Well, definitely, it definitely shuts down all of his wind tons, right? I mean, 
Yeah. That's pretty good, yeah. All right, one, two, three, four, five, eight mana. Definitely, Queen feels confident. So something is happening. 10, 13 mana. 12, 12. That elf is dead. No, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think he's at 15. And he should be able to, I'm assuming he has the regrowth. No, he discards. Okay. Regrowth. Yep, that's it. All right. All right. That was that well, was a good game. Congratulations to Quinn. Quinn is the winner, and uh, yeah, I think uh, great games. Really cool match. Um, yeah, it was definitely a cool match. Glad it went to glad it went to three games for sure. Yeah, uh, definitely, um, definitely a good match. Two great players, um, and uh, yeah. So for everybody who's actually put up with <laughs> the, the, the control uh, matchup there, let me make a little announcement here. Um, All right, so uh, Toppin, uh, as chair of the 1.5 committee, uh, has entrusted us with a, a big task. Um, so uh, I think through, the, through this event, um, a lot of things were put on display, and the, the committee's gathered a lot of data um, for more information on this, you can go back and listen to the uh, the All Things Considered podcast from a week or two ago, where uh, where Mano had Top and uh, and Elliot Burke on. Great discussion of uh, some of the cards uh, on the on the fan list and some cards in question. Um, yeah. so now that this tournament is concluded, uh, we can uh, announce what's going to happen with the uh, the 1.5 uh, fan list. Yeah, and um, let's see what we got here. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, oh, that didn't work. Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. I, if you're doing admirally, I could consider okay. three with first ball, you know, in the middle of the cast. So. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I got it. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put... All right, so we can just kind of scroll, scroll around with this thing. All right, so listen. Uh, there are five cards... All right, cards it should be up now. Add... All right. There, there are five cards being added to the... Uh, the ban list. The ban list. Um, they are as follows. In white, Armageddon and Moat. So, card from each of these two decks. <laughs> so, band. basically, yeah. Uh, in and red, I... Fallen Star and Fireball are being banned. Uh, and in green, uh, the poster child of the evening, Regrowth, so... uh, has received the hammer, and I think the most well-deserved of the hammers um, uh, in, in this case. So, I think uh, we could talk we... about just briefly. I mean, a couple of these we expected, right? You mentioned Regrowth. Regrowth yeah, we go for sure. I expected. Everybody, I think, was I, I think getting at Moat, I think Moat would have been my the next one for me. I know a lot of people were, like Mano, for example, was hopping mad about Falling Star. I wasn't. I didn't think Falling Star was that big a deal. Um, I'm a little but, bit surprised. I mean, a, a tiny bit surprised with Geddon since, uh, but not really. There was a lot of talk about it being overpowered but i didn't at least from my experience during the tournament i didn't really see as much i expected it to be played more than i did and mm -hmm. um uh but definitely it's it's very powerful i don't know if, if you had any experience with Geddon, um but no i mean i think i think land destruction is an exciting um theme in this format where there are is no real fast mana there are no moxes or anything um i mean i played a land destruction deck i Kind of hate to see land destruction uh, effects go away because I think it is kind of interesting, and there are ways around them like equinox and consecrate land and you yeah. know other other things know, you can do. Magic. Yeah, yeah, countermeasures. I don't know. Um, um, Golden Star definitely talked about. It, definitely pretty broken. Uh, uh, my deck ran four. It was awesome, uh, and it really you know kills a lot of creatures. Uh, Fireball. Yeah, Star is very strong. Fireball what do you think about Fireball? Me. 
I, I mean, I ran four fireball uh, <laughs> in my deck, good card. Um, I don't know or... how much. I mean, obviously, disintegrate is still around. You lose the ability to split uh, between targets. Mm -hmm. um, I think Bongstar and Fireball together. Um, I mean, and Moat to a lesser extent. I mean, that all helps the equation for, like, especially like we need decks. Um, I think Elves. Elves now get even stronger than they were, and Elves were already pretty freaking good. Um, and I mean, both like Lana were Elves and the Elsa Deep Shadow. Yeah, I, mean, I guess um, I, if I had to pick one that I'm most surprised with, it's Fireball. Yeah, uh, Kirby Fireball was was not would not have really been in serious discussion. Yeah, uh, I, I'm wondering if some of the I know they're big big on Singleton over there. Maybe some of the uh, their thoughts on Singleton kind of uh, dipped into this. And I know a lot of people are just run Fireball and Singleton decks, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I, I don't know I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. The exciting thing about this format is that. Um, you know, the, the the guys who are steering it are showing like a commitment to keeping it fresh every time, to aggressively banning and unbanning things, and just kind of seeing what happens. Yeah. Um, so every every tournament is going to be its own little kind of fun experiment. Yeah. Um, it'll be a, a like a very much a living format, and also and but one that's like just really rapidly mutating and evolving. And you know, those of us who are kind of bought in. Can kind of go along for that ride. I think it's. I think it's great. Like, I think it's fun. All of this sounds. All of this sounds fun. Like let's. I'm. I'm already thinking about what I'm brewing for next time. Yeah. Um, and you know, hats off to the Toppin and Elliot uh, and all the other um, beasts of the bay who are, um, you know, kind of nudging this thing along and, and cultivating it. And and thanks to everyone who participated in in this tournament. Like I said, it was a, just a great group of guys. I was excited to be a part of it. And. Uh, it, you know, if it results in, in finals like, like this one and all the matches that, you know, I had along the way were a blast, so. Yeah, same here. I just going to echo that, and I, I had a great time. I, I think it's exciting. I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to brew, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to thank two guys. I know they, they, they logged off, but uh, great players, uh, great mm -hmm. games. I want to thank you. Thank you for being uh, my wingman on this. I don't know how I would have done my this by myself. Let's do it again sometime. Definitely do it again. Um, and I don't know how many people are left watching, but uh, thanks everybody. So I'm gonna. Um, we got a big tournament tomorrow, so I'm gonna get uh, finish my deck and get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Have All a right. good night. See you. Bye. Yeah, bye.